The Chinese company is responsible for many great phones, but it's rarely given its due credit. Whether or not the Mate 10 changes this can't be predicted, but Huawei has done its part, the Mate 10 is a standout phone, one that's several hundred dollars cheaper than competition from Samsung, Google and Apple, and even shaves down the price of Huawei's own super-powered Mate 10 Pro. The phone is powered by Huawei's estate-made Kirin 970 processor, which offers grunt in line from what you'd get from Qualcomm's premium Snapdragon 835 chip. Its beautiful 5.9-inch screen pops thanks to a 2560x1440 pixel resolution in the phone's slim bezels. Finally, those dual cameras shoot great pictures, see more below. It's got its flaws, namely Huawei's imperfect EMUI software that rides on top of Android 8.0 Aurora. Plus, the camera, while impressive, falls a little shy of the Pixel 2 and new iPhone 8 range. But that's much easier to forgive when you factor in price. The Mate 10 retails for AU$899 in Australia, which converts to roughly $685 in the US and £520. Huawei's Mate 10 is one fabulous phablet that's a chunk cheaper than Apple's iPhone 8 Plus, $799, £799, AU$1229, Google's Pixel 2 XL, $850, £799, AU$1399, and Samsung's Galaxy Note 8, $950, 869 pounds AU$1499. If the phone were to come to the US or UK, it'd probably be even less expensive, since those are conversions from the Australian price, and Australians almost always pay more. But therein lies a real issue, right now, the Mate 10 is not officially available in the US or UK. Its bigger brother, the Mate 10 Pro, is getting a UK release, and there are rumors of it coming to AT&T in the US early next year, but there are no such plans for the Mate 10. But still, if you're after a premium phone, but find what's out there a little too expensive, the Mate 10 is worth it.